I think even the current Captain America, Sam Wilson, is going to be like, what is going on in New York? Why are we <clears throat> erecting a giant monument of Captain America holding a shield in the place of the Statue of Liberty? What's going on here? So quite obviously, there's a lot going on with Captain America in the MCU. One of these things that's going on is quite obviously right there. We see it in the trailer. The final battle happens here. The Statue of Liberty has now become intertwined and connected in some way, shape, or form and is being rebuilt into the Captain America statue. You can see it right here. Like, there's a redesign going on here to add Captain America's shield and looks like some colors as well. It's very interesting. A very, uh unique take on what they're trying to do here in the MCU and people are wondering what exactly is going on why like Steve Rogers probably would not ask for this or even want this right like it doesn't make sense and that's all valid uh things to bring up and if you look at that again if you pay attention it says on it and I quote meet NYC's newest and tallest Avenger Hashtag my liberty Avenger. Now, of course, we never saw any element of this in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and they're just briefly in New York, not even in the same part. So that kind of might make sense. But we get the sense that throughout everything that's going on, really, there's this question of where is Captain America? Where is Steve Rogers? And what happened with him? And maybe this is a monument to celebrate Steve Rogers. Maybe we're going to find out he's officially passed away or something's going on here or maybe they are celebrating that sam wilson is the new captain america again we don't really know but i think it is interesting that they're taking this giant of a turn in terms of how important captain america is to everything and specifically now the united states especially with everything that happened with john walker again that's the big one here right like um that shield got rather dirty, if you know what I'm saying. And also, we can see that during the giant action sequence in this, that shield is coming down crashing. Because we see that briefly. Like, we see it coming down, falling from where it's being, you know, set up. So, there's going to be some giant problems here. That thing is going to be destroyed, if not badly damaged. Which makes some people wonder, are they going to completely rebuild the Statue of Liberty as Captain America? Which, honestly, that would be definitely interesting um that's quite the twist again I, I don't think captain america would be like you know what's great a kid from brooklyn i'm gonna be the statue of liberty now Th that's weird right you can probably draw some parallels to what the red skull was trying to do which doesn't make sense it's like yeah um i don't know i, I wonder how this is gonna fit into the story if at all maybe they got a good way to explain it but it just seems weird to me i can see why many people are pointing this out and going that's strange. Many of you ask me, be like, hey, you love Captain America. Can you talk about this? Um, I I'm a little off put by it. I'll be honest with you. Something just seems a little off about this, and I don't know what. Maybe we just got to wait. Maybe we'll find out this happens at the same time as John Walker is becoming Captain America. We're like, oh, wow, they're pushing this propaganda hard. Okay, this, this fits. <laughs>